Hello friends, today we are going to see how to make a vertical order traversal in a binary tree. So let's see the example. So for making the vertical order traversal, we are going to assign the horizontal distance for every node in this tree. The horizontal distance is the distance from one side of the tree. It can be from any side, but in this case we have taken it from this left side. So let's assign the horizontal distances to each node. For assigning the distances, we are going to use these three rules. The first rule is for root hd is equal to 0 and for left child hd is equal to hd of parent node minus 1 and for right child hd is equal to hd of parent node plus 1. hd denotes horizontal distance. So let's assign the distances. So for root hd is equal to 0. Now for left child that is b hd is equal to hd of parent minus 1. So hd will be 0 minus 1 is minus 1. And for right child hd is equal to hd plus 1. For right child. So 0 plus 1 is plus 1. Now. For left child of D, so for D, HD is equal to HD minus 1, so minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. And for right child, minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Because for right child, HD is equal to HD of parent plus 1. Now, left child of D is H, so HD is equal to HD minus 1, so it is minus 3. And minus 2 plus 1 is minus 3. 1 for this thing. Now for this 0 minus 1 is minus 1 and 0 plus 1 is plus 1. Yes, here left child of C is F so 1 minus 1 is 0, right child is G so 1 plus 1 is 2. Then G L M so G left child is L so 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1 and 2 plus 1 is 3. Yes, in this way we have assigned the horizontal distances to every node. Now you can see H is the node which has the minimum distance from this side. Minus 3 is the minimum distance. And M is the node with the maximum distance from left side. So these are the horizontal distances. So maximum distance is 3. Now the nodes with the same horizontal distances come in the same vertical line. Let's note down the vertical lines. So the first distance is minus 3. So for minus 3 H is the node. So this is one vertical line. Now for minus 2, D is the node. So for minus 2, D is the node. So this is the second vertical line. Let me just fix it a bit. Now for minus 1, there are these three nodes, I, J and B. So for minus 1, which are the three nodes? Here it is B, I and J. So that is our vertical line B, I and J are the uh, vertical line nodes of distance minus 1. So this is our vertical line. I will just take it in one hand. Yes. Okay. Now for distance 0, what are the nodes? A, E, F. For distance 0, A, E and F. So this is the vertical line. Okay, these are the lines with distance 0 from the side. That is horizontal distance is 0. Now for distance 1, K, L and C and C. So these are the 
nodes. The same horizontal distance come in this vertical line. And with vertical distance 2, G is the node. And vertical distance 3, M is the node. These are the vertical lines. So in this way, we have traversed all the vertical lines in this binary tree. This is called as vertical order traversal. Remember that when we draw binary tree, so we don't draw binary tree on a paper perfectly because generally we are not able to draw the tree such that on these vertical lines will come exactly straight because generally we don't draw the binary tree in such a perfect way. So marking these lines before calculating the distances is, uh, is prone to mistakes. Means you can make mistakes if you directly mark these lines in a straight way before assigning these distances. So always assign distances first and then go for marking lines and marking lines is not mandatory. It is not compulsory. You can just take the nodes with the same distance together and you can have the vertical order traversal of the nodes. Yes. Now we are going to see the algorithm for doing this. So let's see the algorithm with the help of the example. So here is the algorithm and we are going to execute this algorithm on this binary tree. So the algorithm is the combination of label order traversal plus hash table. In my previous video, I have explained the label order traversal in detail. If you have not seen that video, then prefer watching that video so that you can perfectly understand this algorithm. I have mentioned the al algorithm link in the description below. So let's go further. So the algorithm says the first step is nq root. So if this is the binary tree you are given then a is the root of this binary tree. So you have to nq the root and then update horizontal distance for that root as 0. So you have to up update the horizontal distance as 0. As you know, the horizontal distance for the root begins with 0. Now, after that, the third step is add this horizontal distance equal to 0 in the hash table and root as the value. So, here is the change in the algorithm for, uh, from the level order traversal. So, the change is that along with the queue for the level order traversal, we are going to use the hash table and in this hash table we are going to write every horizontal distance and the nodes for that horizontal distance. So the horizontal distance 0 is written here and the node. So A is the node for horizontal distance 0. Remember this is the hash table with key as HD and value as the nodes. So let's go ahead. So fourth point is DQ. So you have to DQ from this Q and when we DQ we get A. So A is the DQ node now and then let's go ahead. So the first step here is check for left and right child. So you have to check the left and right child of A. So let's check here. So the left child of A is B and the right child is C. So when you check the left and right child of uh, A, then you have to update the horizontal distance in the hash table. So let's see what is the horizontal distance. As you know, as B is the left child of A, the horizontal distance will be 0 minus 1, that is minus 1. Here is the rule for left child HD is equal to HD minus 1 and for right child HD is equal to HD plus 1. So let's follow this rule. For C it, as it is the right child HD will be 0 plus 1 that is 
equal to plus 1. Now, let's write those numbers in the hash table. So, minus 1 and the node is B. For HD equal to 1, the node is C. Yes. And now, let's go to the second step. NQ the left and right child. So, after we have updated this hash table, you have to NQ this left and right child that is B and C in this case, in this Q. So, we have to NQ B and C in the Q. Now, these steps, the fourth step and these sub steps are in loop and this loop continues till this Q becomes empty. So, let's continue. Again, DQ. So, we have DQ'd. So, when we DQ this, now the DQ'd node is B. Now, check for left and right child of B. So, D is the left child and E is the right child. Now, update the horizontal distance for D and E. So, minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 and minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So, minus 2 is the horizontal distance for D and 0 is the horizontal distance for E. So, let's enter these values in the hash table. So, for minus 2, the node is D and for 0, the node is E. Yes. Now, as 0 is already present in this hash table, you should not make a new entry in this table. You should not make a new entry because 0 is already present. You should just add that node to this set. Yes, for key 0, A and E are the nodes. Let's go ahead now. So, the second step is NQ the left and right child. So, you have to NQ B and E. Let's go ahead. Again, DQ. So, C is the DQ node. And let's check where is C. Yes, the left child is F and right child is G. So, 1 minus 1 is 0 and for right child 1 plus 1 is 2. We have updated the horizontal distances. Now, for 0, the node is F. As 0 is already present in the hash table, we just add the value, add the node. And for 2, yes, 2 is not present, so you have to add the new value to this hash table, new key. So, for 2, the node is G. Yes. Now, NQ, F and G. Yes. And DQ again. So, the DQ node is D now. So, check for left and right child H and I. So, horizontal distances are updated to minus 3 and minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Update them in the hash table. So, for minus 3, the node is H. And for minus 1, yes, minus 1 is already present. So, we should add I to this list or to this set. Now, you have to NQ the nodes. So, H and I. So, DQ again. So, the DQ node is E now. Yes. So, what is the left and right child of E? No left and right child. So, we should not do anything. So, DQ again. So, the DQ node is F now. Check left and right child of F. Yes, left child is J. So, 0 plus 1 is 1 and 0 minus 1 is minus 1. Uh, sorry, it's 0 minus 1 is minus 1 and 0 plus 1 is 1. Now, just add the values. So, for minus 1, you have to add the value J and for plus 1, you have to add the value K. Yes, and NQ these nodes. So, J and K is NQ. Now, just uh, check and DQ. So, G is DQ. And check for left node of J. G is not present. Only the right node is present. So, 2 plus 1 is 3. So, uh, for 
3. So as 3 is not present here, 3 is a new entry and we have added the node L for 3. Now just NQ this node L and DQ again. So now H is the DQ node. So let's check H. H doesn't have left or right child. So we should not do anything. DQ again. So I is the DQ node. DQ node. I has left child and right child. So minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. And minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So just add the values for minus 2. D comma M. And for 0. It is N. Now. Uh, add M and N to the Q. Yes. And DQ again. So J is the DQ node now. So as J is the DQ node. Check for J. But it doesn't have left or right child. So you should not do anything. So DQ again. So now K is the DQ node. Yes. So K has left and right child. So 1 minus 1 is 0. And 1 plus 1 is 2. These are the horizontal distances. So you have to add P and Q to the respective keys. So P for 0 and Q for 2. Yes. And add P and Q to the Q. So N, Q, P and Q. Now DQ again. DQ node is L. Doesn't have left or right child. So we should not do anything. Again DQ. DQ node is M. Does it have left or right child? Again D, Q, N, P, Q. They don't have children. So we should not do anything with them. So after we D, Q, uh, D, Q this Q, this Q is empty. So when this Q is empty, our algorithm is over and our hash table contains the vertical lines in our binary tree. So this is our answer. This is the first vertical line that is AEFNP. This is the second vertical line BIJ. Third is CK, DM, GQ, N and L. So these are the third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh vertical line. It is very difficult in the tree to write or to draw a vertical line and capture all the nodes. Means that is the limitation of drawing because we cannot draw tree on a paper so perfectly that all the nodes come below each other means perfectly the vertical distances match and we can draw a vertical line so you can understand the limitations of drawing so always use the method of horizontal distance to find out the vertical lines if you try to judge by looking at the tree, most probably you will make the mistake. So this is how we find out the horizontal distances and we find out the vertical lines in the binary tree. Hey friends, please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day. And if you want a video on any particular topic, then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.